This might seem unrelated to losing fat, but it does make a difference. And if you want to learn more about losing fat sustainably, then subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. I'm so happy you're here. My name is Vivian. I'm a fat loss coach. And when I say self-love, I don't mean manicures and expensive dinners. I'm talking about that deep-seated kindness that you show towards yourself and understanding that it's not selfish to meet your basic needs. I'm not just talking about food, shelter, and water, but also that you deserve to be treated with respect. You need your mental and physical health to be tended to and cared for, and that you're living your life true to yourself. An important part of this is forgiving yourself. For example, if you miss a workout, how do you speak to yourself? Are you like, hey, it's okay, like I understand life happens, I'm only human, I can easily get back on track and be totally fine? Or do you beat yourself up and you're like, you lazy fool, of course you missed your workout, of course this is why you can never get healthy, what's wrong with you? How are you speaking to yourself? If you're speaking to yourself more like that second way, then it's not surprising that it's hard for you to stay consistent with your exercise because it's it becomes like the stressful event. The idea of trying to get into an exercise routine is just filled with guilt and shame because you chastise yourself, you criticize yourself. So instead, understand that discipline does not mean bullying yourself. You don't have to be perfect in order to get great results, you just have to keep making progress. And that way you can be more consistent and get closer to your fat loss goals. I remember my unsuccessful early attempts at exercising was following the Insanity DVDs. So I had a workout plan and a schedule and kind of like everything in place to do it, but I could only go two weeks before I'd fall off track. And every time I fell off, I just beat up on myself because I was like, you fool, you can only get 14 days what's wrong. So I would start over and over and over again. I don't think I ever finished all, I think like 90 days of insanity because I kept falling off track. But over the years, I've been more kind to myself so that it was easier to stay on track and then it became more enjoyable and now it's a habit. So I'm good about getting my lifts in, but I'm about to have wisdom teeth surgery. So I'll be out of commission for a couple of days, meaning I'm going to miss maybe like one to three workouts at worst case scenario. Um, and I remember early in college, I would be so distraught about that. I'd be like, I am slacking, I'm missing out on my gains if I don't do workouts all the time. But now I understand it's not that big of a deal. I'm fine, I can always get back on track. It's not gonna really set me back. And in the scope of my lifetime, a couple of workouts missed isn't really gonna make that much of a difference since this is a lifestyle change that I've made. Another part of self-love is practicing self-care, taking care of this vessel that you're going through life in. It might seem kind of like boring or mundane to take care of your nutrition and exercise, but it helps you function better and show up better in life. Like if you never watered a plant, you can't be surprised that it's not bearing fruit and it's not growing because you haven't given it what it needs. I'm generally a happy, energetic, optimistic person, but when my sleep's not right, I don't go outside, I don't move my body, then I, I devolve as a human being. I have the energy of a sloth, and my outlook on life makes me think I should go back to therapy. But then I like take the time to reassess, get enough sleep, take care of my training, nutrition, journal, meditate, all that good stuff that helps me care for my body and my spirit, and then I'm back. And I'm not saying that like doing these things is the cure for clinical depression. That's not something I'm diagnosed with. So doing these self-care, self-love activities does help me return to my normal state. If depression is something that you're dealing with, then go see a professional. But if you just feel kind of crappy because you haven't been tending to yourself, then self-care, self-love all the way. Being stressed out all the time, physiologically, is not good for fat loss. It might seem normal, like everybody is working themselves to the bone, people aren't getting good sleep. It seems like that's the norm and that's okay, but if you want to reach your fat loss goals, you need to relax. Common stressors that I see in my clients are not getting enough sleep, stress from work or family, under eating for a long time, over exercising for a long time, letting their perception of whatever's happening to their situation stress them out. Like, you can't control what's happening to you, but you can affect your perception. So like right now, I can <sighs> chill out and see that like I'm in a nice cozy home, I'm safe, I'm fed, like I have so many things to be grateful for. But in this moment, I could also stress myself out and just think of like 
all the work that I have to do and how there's never enough time in the world and like all the injustices of the world and I can just like watch the news forever and just like like freak out <laughs> and get to this bad place so like you have all these stressors on you and then you don't take the time to relax to recover from it that's a recipe for disaster and you're not going to be able to lose fat effectively by doing that take care of yourself you're allowed to relax if you've been over dieting for too long then reverse diet to get your health and your metabolism back up if you've been exercising so extremely for a long time then go to a more moderate training style make sure you get enough sleep and set boundaries that is another huge self-love thing that you can do you are in charge of advocating for your well-being advocating for your needs because nobody can read your mind and we're all doing things for ourselves it's human nature to be selfish because we do need our needs to be met so if you're always caring for everybody else in the world but not yourself then you're gonna burn out you're gonna resent people you can't pour from an empty cup so you need to set your boundaries and advocate for what you need when you've given all of yourself away there's nothing left for you to build a healthy lifestyle with therefore you can't reach your fat loss goals because there's nothing to give it takes effort and energy to work out take care of your nutrition take care of your mental health do all the things that you need this is a common thing that i see in my clients especially women because we tend to be people pleasers we want to give we want to nurture but when you learn to effectively communicate your needs you'll find that you're a lot more powerful than you realize and then you're able to give more and love more to yourself and to others there is this one girl from the Empower program who felt like she was being spread too thin and she really would have liked to have a hobby outside of work so that she could de-stress and have something fulfilling her. But the issue was that her partner slept late, so then she would also sleep late, and then she wouldn't have that buffer time in the morning to work on her hobby. She learned how to express her needs to her partner in like a non-confrontational way and now they sleep a little bit earlier so that she has that time to herself in the morning. She has a better hold on her nutrition, training, happiness of life in general and she's a better partner from the results that she's gotten and the consistency that she's had with living a healthier lifestyle she's even inspired her partner to get into lifting and being more conscious of his health. I love that they lift together, they meal prep together, and they can be a happy, healthy couple together. And that's a great example of how when you fill up your cup and take care of your needs first, then you have more to offer, more to help the people that you love without getting burnt out or feeling resentful. I've been working on something so exciting. In the next few weeks, I'm going to be launching my free webinar on how to lose fat sustainably. I'm going to be updating you on this YouTube channel, but if you want to make sure you don't miss it, follow me on Instagram for updates. If you like the video, press the like button. If you like the kind of information I put out, press the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I'm grateful for you, and I hope your life is filled with gratitude too.